Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to be invoking that server side method from the client. So if you take a look at our hub here, we have this announce method. We want to invoke that from the client side. So where do we even begin? Well, let's go back to our JavaScript. And the way we need to do this is we need to tell it what hub we want to talk to. Because up here, we made a connection, but we never specified hey, let's talk to my hub. That's important because you're not limited to just one hub, you can have multiple hubs. So you need to be very specific on which one you're talking to. So we're going to have it so that when the connection is established, we invoke that server side method. So within this done here, we are going to put that call to that method. So let's just kind of clean up the syntax here a little bit. So when we get the connection and it works, we'll log it, and then we'll invoke a server side method. So what we're going to do is dollar sign dot connection dot, and then what you need to do is put the name of the hub, but the capitalization is very important. We're going to use camel casing. That's where the first word is lowercase and the next word is uppercase. My hub dot server dot and then we're going to say the method that we want to call which is announce all right let's give it a try let's save it and go back to our web browser give it a refresh object doesn't support property or method announce okay i forgot an n there we go save it now go back to our browser refresh it it worked, okay, so why is it not doing anything? Well, let's let's go do a little quick review. So when we look at our server side code, the announce method is making a call to the announce function on all of the clients. So you should expect in our client side code to have an announce function. That's why it's not doing anything because there's no function to be called here. So let's create this function. What we need to do is we need to put a dollar sign dot get the connection, dot, save the hub name, my hub, and then we need to say client, because now we're, we're making a client side function, dot, announce, and we're going to set that equal to a function. So what's, what's going on here? Well, the, the server side code is looking for this announce, and we're going to assign this announce to this function. So when the server calls it, it gets fed this function here. So within here, all we're going to do is make an alert. All right, let's give it a try and see if it works. Let's open our browser, give it a refresh, and nothing happened. <laughs> so why isn't it working? Well, let's look back at our server side code real quick. You can see we're calling the announce function and we're passing in a message. If you go back to our client side code, we're not accepting any data here. So it doesn't see it as the correct function. So what we need to do is we need to accept that message right here. And then what we can do is alert that message. One more thing though, go back to the server side code, that announce method that's server side expects a message. So we need to give it that message to be re-announced. So back on our client side code, when we call the server method, we also need to pass in some data. So let's pass in a string that says connected. And also we don't need to make this a string because that would just make it say message. Save that. Now let's give it another try. Hopefully it works. Connected. All right. <laughs> So we have effectively created our hub, we've created client side code to connect to it, and we made that message be announced. One more cool thing I wanna show you though, guys. Let's open this Edge browser and let's open another one. Let's go to localhost, copy it, and we're gonna make two, two windows essentially. We're going to go to it on here. And look at that, it says connected on both of them. So that's the magic. We just made our first real-time application. Hopefully you guys see the power in that. That is incredible. <laughs> All right, one more thing that I wanna do 
and I will do that in the next video.